the great Tony Sparling because we're at the Tony Sparling Sports Complex French Town Rock the man that do the thing for I and I they are so now special shout out to South St. Andrew Arnett Gard Texas, Brooklyn, Angola, Zimbabwe, Mexico, Texas, Oma Jonestown, Fredstown, Admiraltown, Knoxville, Rima, Federal, Arrowstown, Diva Pulitzer, Stay at Springfield. If they are saying we are told, but I'm a feel good. You know what I said? Up until a few days ago, we're not going to keep this up at JC, you know. And I said, no, man. We could bring it right, yes, sir. Yes, yes, sir. The heartbeat for the People's National Party. You know what I said? The family of them are going to come out and kill the love and the support. So, comrades, we have been rebuilding the party since we went through that little trouble in 2020. And we are tell you, we put the man in our corner, so he might have to call this election. He couldn't run away, he couldn't catch it, he couldn't hide from it, he had to call it. Because we put, is the PNP, put local government in the constitution of Jamaica, you know? When I was Minister of Justice and Butch Askat was the Minister of Local Government, the Constitution of Jamaica says there must be a democratic system of local governance. And we know, sir, when you're supposed to have an election for councillors from 2020 and you're coming at 2024 and then one year after the next, postponing it, postponing it, postponing it, nothing couldn't go so any longer. Let me tell him, say, yo. We're serious, you know, man. We're going to take it to court and make them give you a beat, you know, man. And you never want to call it. You know why you never want to call it? See it there? See it there? See it there? They have to get a beat. They must get a beat on the 26th. Our people ready for a change. Them tired of the corruption. Them tired of our government. We put gag order on themselves so them can't talk about the illicit six. We're in a parliament and we want to know who. And they know who. But them not tell the people who. We're tired of our government that has mashed up the National Housing Trust to the point where. It can't even make loans out of its own money again. It have to outsource lending to the private sector and pay them an interest subsidy. And the latest scandal out of many, after many, many scandals is another one involving the now National Housing Trust. 650 million, them pay a company owned by Fidem Friend, supposed to deliver a house for 12.5 for housing trust contributors. Not one house has come to the National Housing Contributors at 12.5. After four years of housing trust, get 20 million of interest. After four years, and then 650 million. And the houses are selling for 20 million and up. This is not a government for poor people. This is not a government for the working class people of this country. And I want to tell each and every worker of this country, Civil servant, public servant, minimum wage earner, security guard. When we come to government again, we will work with you in a spirit of friendship and caring to sort out all the little issues which linger on and make your life unpleasant at work and make you demoralize and want to migrate because the PNP is a party for the people and for the working class of this country. Comrades, we believe in local government. 
It's a Libra right and shut down government on the Seattle, you know. Shut down local government. We have always believed in it. We passed the three strategic laws in the, the last portion since the middle term to modernize the system of local governance. So we want to make those laws work for the people. We want to deliver better resources to local government so that they can deliver the services that the people need. Better water supply, better roads in their communities, street lights that work, garbage that is collected on time. And I know when my brother and sister, sister Natalie Nita Headley is Minister of Local Government, that will be what happens when we have proper government, having won the local government elections and have PNP councils all over the country delivering the services that the people need. Comrades, we're focusing on February the 26th, and that is an important day. My friends on this platform have spoken to why we need to send a signal. This will be a referendum on this government. This will be an earthquake for the Labour Party government. Because when on the 26th the PNP is victorious in the local government elections, it is only a matter of time before the general has to be called and the PNP will be returned to power under the government of Mark Jefferson Bowling leading a government for the people that will care for the people that will use the resources for the people only for the people They got to go, they got to go They got to go, they got to go Comrades, enough labor rights, shame of them party, you know. Enough of them shame of the corruption with them see you know. Enough of them wants to change to, you know. So I say to each and every one who say them are labor right. This time round you can knock your ex beside the head because you know it's the right thing to do for Jamaica this time. And we welcome the board. And we're not going to send you out. We're going to do right by the people of this country. Comrades, I feel good to know that 50%, one half of the 40 candidates to the KSANC region for the People's National Party are women. That is progress. I thought we know women are good leaders and caring leaders. And I have two, I have two wonderful women who are the wind beneath my sails. We have three, because we have one on my yard. And I see the rock still. Dave, pick up yourself. But we have two here in the South St. Andrew. One to trench down the vision. The other for Admiral down the vision. Come with Sierra and come with Pondus. Come up here. When history day come, Portia since the Miller day come, the 26th of February, X beside the head of Admiral Town for Comrade Louise Newland, and X beside the head in Trench Town for Comrade Sierra Marshall, who are delivered a tsunami victory for South St. Andrew for the PNP. Comrades, Tonight has been a wonderful night. Tonight has been a great night for the People's National Party. I wasn't expecting this massive crowd, but I am feeling wonderful because I know that time come. Time come for change. Time come for a better system of local government. Time come for a government that believes in local government. Time come for a government that believes looking after the people of this country. Time come for a government that builds institutions that support the people of this country, especially the most vulnerable. We need healthcare facilities that look after people who need healthcare. We need schools that look after children and give them the right education so they can be something great because our children are destined to be great. And we need an economy 
that includes each and every one and gives opportunities to us all. Small business, hustlers, right up to the top of ours because we are the party that believes in everybody pulling together to build a nation that is great and that can achieve its true destiny as a leader of the world in tolerance, in liberty, and in the message of the great Robert Nesamali who built his music right here in Town. So comrades and friends, just want to thank each and every one of you for the support. I know it's not always easy. Sometimes you want to see more, and I would love to always be able to give you more. But we are doing the best we can, and we will continue to work in your interests, with your rights, in the forefront of our mind. Because we don't come to this thing, to scrape, and we don't come to this thing to take away any rights where our forefathers shed their blood, sweat and tears to make sure that you, the people of Jamaica and we, all of us, as the Jamaican family, enjoy. We are a great people and the People's National Party will soon be back in office to make us even greater. Comrades, 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 victory on the 26th, victory on the 26th.